This video is brought to you in partnership with EasyOn. Very simply, the very best. About a month ago, I had come through to EasyOn for the installation of the 270 degree awning. But now it is time for something a little bit crazier. In the previous episode when we installed the awning, we installed it in the higher position, just to get a little bit more headroom. But with the suspension kit arriving soon and the rooftop tent going on, we had to reposition it to its normal position. Obviously with putting on the new rooftop tent, we'd have to remove most of the other accessories. What's nice about the Easy On Blade is that it does come with a set of load bars, so if we do need to carry anything like recovery equipment or maybe position something like a solar panel, we have space to do that. Coming in at 73 kilograms, it's not the lightest of tents, but it's also not the heaviest, especially considering its hard wearing metal structure. So the Easy On Blade is a clamshell tent. It hinges off of one point and is very easy to open and set up. Something that people want to see on a chimney, but also don't feel belongs on a chimney. And I feel like this is a part of the build that is going to be quite controversial. And I think there's going to be a lot of differing opinions. And this is one of the biggest parts of the build and one of the biggest steps towards making the ultimate micro overlander. And I'm super excited for it. So as you can see, we've gone with the Easy On Blade. Uh, personally, I think it has the most versatile rooftop tent that Easy On make. It's pretty lightweight, it's easy to use, it's quite spacious, so it's going to be really awesome to see how we can really put this thing to the test. I'm looking forward to not having to keep all my camping equipment in terms of the sleeping bags and blankets and pillows in the car, which are really lightweight and take up a lot of space. I can now put that in the rooftop tent, so it's going to give me a lot more useful space inside the vehicle. This is where it all began. All began at Easy On. And if I think back now, it's been a couple months since I came through and they put the rack on the first time. And then about a month ago, we did the awning. And now we've done the final step, putting on the rooftop tent. It's pretty, pretty damn cool. I never thought that uh, this would happen, but everything happens for a reason, I think. So we're gonna be heading out this weekend and going to go have a really cool trip. We're gonna be visiting a place called Three Provinces where we're gonna be spending a couple nights and yeah, it's gonna be awesome, so join us. You wouldn't think this would all be over without me actually showing you how it sets up, would you? And in practice, it's even easier to set up than I thought. It is literally undoing two clips and pushing open the gas struts. I'm normally not a fan of ladders, but this one's pretty sturdy. We managed to set up the tent confidently at 2 o'clock in the morning in absolute darkness. With the nice big windows, you get to enjoy the early morning sunrise from the comfort of the bed. So, we ended up driving through most of the night. We only arrived here at about 2 o'clock in the morning, but <laughs> luckily the tent was super easy to set up and we just hopped right in. But it was freezing and we were ill prepared. Some of you were wondering how the Jimny would handle with the rooftop tent on? Find out in our upcoming video on the Three Provinces Trail. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out and we'll see you on the next adventure.